um, Top Gun Maverick yet? Not yet. I don't think no. it comes out until November. Yeah, I was going to say, I November first. You guys yeah. did. Yeah, so have you watched like it on that. digital, or are you just go, I'm going to wait? No, no, there's no need. Like oh, okay. zero desire to watch on a 5.1 crappy. That's just my opinion. How I, I think I'm, it. There I, you. I think, I think I, it. I, I think it deserves. Now, if you had Kaleidoscape, hundred percent, do it. Yeah. You know how much but, is Kaleidoscape? I bought it. Uh, Kaleidoscape's expensive too. I so bought the talking, Top Gun. Um, I could bought the Top Gun movie packs because I never had the first one. So yeah, oh, I, I got think, it on Voodoo. I haven't I watched it, it, but I got it's it. It's somewhere between like six thousand and nine thousand, twelve thousand, somewhere. I mean, it's a lot. Is that just for the hardware? Yes. Is there like a monthly service or no? You just you buy, buy, you per, just buy video. per video. Yeah. Okay, so Top Gun came out. What was that cost mm -hmm. twenty bucks? Yeah, 30, something like that. thirty, yeah. thirty-five, twenty. So it's like you own. So you don't have any physical media, but it's Correct. as good as the physical media. Absolutely. And it's streamed some, some from claim, them. It's not even streamed. You download it to you the download market. It. Download it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're physically downloading. It's almost like doing a one-to-one -one rip and oh, you have okay. it on your server, on the Kaleidoscape server. Okay. You, you pay, depending on what size hard drives you have in the configuration, they have like three different models. Um, you know, each one has more capability as far as storage space um mm. but, hmm. but yeah it's we had it at or i say we I, I was not a part of that organization um but at uh mm. audio advice live we also had it in m wave it's a slick software man there's no doubt yeah. it's really i slick, mean it, it looks cool it's just the gooey looks yeah. awesome it's just like real. all the stuff moving around yeah so well, did you, did you that, already it. mention how you can like um tell them which movies you already own and they'll like Yes, yeah, so you can you can purchase. There's, there's like an upgrade kind yeah. of path. If you have a yeah. bunch of Blu-rays, you can upgrade to, to the 4K. They, yeah. And they have specials mm -hmm. running certain times. So yeah, yeah, you can actually get movies for like two to five dollars. Yeah. yeah, you can you know? show them your whole library, and they'll like upgrade you. So, yeah. so here's what you well technically not what they no. have to do. My understanding, they send you one of their older models that has a drive, and you have to put in your your disc in there. And that's how it physically registers that as you own you, that. You have trip. to provide proof. Yeah, and that's how you do it. You can't just say, oh, here's a picture. Oh, you know? I see. Here's a so, screenshot of my list of movies <laughs> I already own. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's it has to physically go in their yeah. old drive, and then it says, okay, let's register it with our server, and then they give the option to maybe buy it for $10 or something for the 4K version. So, But it's pretty slick, but like I said, it's just definitely... It's pretty pricey. Definitely it's pricey. Not it's a super, super, super niche kind of product. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. I mean, um, they Zach, know was, Zach was the, like, hey, do you want one? I'm like, I don't think so. Yeah. Because he's ready They're, to send one over. But I'm like, dude, I don't want to. I'm already. I have Zipidi. I have Zidu. I, mm. that's, that's another thing. It's just not. He's got doo doo. He's got, I mean, yeah, I got voodoo. Doo -doo. I got voodoo. Yeah. Uh, so he said, Reverend, Reverend Slim says, at most on the Dolby Digital Plus version. 7.1.2 static objects for most of the movie. Um, yeah, I thought it sounded pretty good, actually. I tested it out just to, you know, watch the movie. Maverick? Yeah, I thought it sounded actually good in Atmos. You know me, I'm pretty critical oh, of Atmos, right? So, but I'm like, oh, this one, there's actually some stuff going on. All right. I like dude, it. Dude, Joe, hmm. have you seen the movie Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday? Do you oh. know about it? No. No, that? dude, it's the Filipino movie, bro. Is that right? It's about this Filipino comic having to go to like Easter Sunday with this Filipino family. <laughs> oh, dude, you love it, bro. I think you would fucking love it. Sasha's like, I don't like this. I I've had a couple of Filipino girlfriends. I don't so like I this. I, I, I can kind of like relate to <laughs> some of this stuff. But like, dude, you, I think you guys would love All it. All right. Does that have Joe Jeff Coy in it? Yes, Joe Coy. That's yeah, good. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. That dude's He's hilarious. Specific. He is yeah. pretty funny. He is yeah, pretty I like funny. that guy. Um, but yeah, well, I was like, and Sasha's like, did you get this just, just to tell Joe about it? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, but I totally will tell him about it during the show. All right. I'll check it out. Yeah. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily high five.